Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can locally install this dubbing tool with AI Video Lingo. Now, we can install this tool locally, but it doesn't really work with local models properly. For that, not only they also recommend, but I have tested and it only works in a decent way with API based models, which is either Anthropic or OpenAI or DeepSeq ones. So if you're looking to deploy it locally, still keep in mind that yes, you may jiggle it to use it with Olama based models, but you won't go anywhere. It only really works nicely with these API based paid models and the quality of dubbing is quite good not only that but also it offers you localization there are multiple language which are supported and the good thing is that not only you can install it through building the whole project locally you can on also install it through docker and I, i'm going to show you how you can get it installed on your local system but keep in mind that it works with the api based models because i think it is always a good idea to mention it straight up so having said that what exactly is this tool video lingo as i said it is a dubbing tool which also is used for video translation and localization also the claim on their github repo is that they generate netflix quality subtitles it also eliminates stiff machine translation and multi-line subtitles while adding high quality dubbing that enables global knowledge sharing across language barriers there are a lot of other features which you mention on their repos such as multi-language support detailed logging with progress resumption nlp word level and low illusion subtitle and few other tidbits which you can check out on their github repo but i believe the good usage of this tool is through dubbing now i'll be pit um, straight up on this one i'm not really much impressed by this tool so far uh, due to various reasons and you will see as we progress during the video we also have covered a lot of dubbing models and tool on the channel and if you're interested you can just go to my channel and search for those open source and local dubbing tools where you don't have to worry about these paid options and that sort of stuff anyway another cool thing is that they also have a hosted version which is of course a paid one so you would need to go there you can do some trial but eventually you would have to pay if your usage is higher and again if you are using api based models the cost could really go through the roof very very quickly before i move forward let me give a huge thanks to our good friends at mast compute who are sponsoring the vm for this video there won't be any gpu usage but if you are looking to do that it also uh, they also are sponsoring the gpu if you're looking to rent a gpu on a very affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus so this is uh, the vm i'm going to use ubuntu and this is my gpu card from mast compute now i will be using docker to get it installed so make sure that you have a recent and latest version of docker installed otherwise it won't work with the uh, older versions also make sure that you have this multimedia library ffm pack installed as you can see i already have it let's get clone the repo of video lingo and i will drop the link to it in video description that is done and next up we need to build the docker container here so let me run it to build it and this is going to take 10 to 15 minutes to build it installs a lot of things so you just have to um, bear with it you just so i will let it run and then i will see what happens meanwhile that goes on let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPot. iGenPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack, and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to the website in video's description. Okay, so let's see what is happening there. As I said, let's wait. It is almost there. As I said, it takes long time. 
but 14 out of 15 are done and I think it will take around a couple more minutes to finish and I think this installation is what they could improve a lot and then second one is that they should be introducing more robust support for the local models because if you are doing these sort of dubbing and translation with videos with API based models that is going to really uh, blow the cost through the roof which really is not favorable anyway let's see how this works and after 20 minutes it has finished running now we can run those docker containers like this on our local host and the container is running now let me access it in my browser so let me take you there and there you go it's a simple interface where you can either give it a link to your youtube video or you could select an mp4 avi or mov file or any other video format which is supported by just clicking and dragging or dropping so let me select a video from my local system let me also play it for you so it is uploading the video at the moment while it uploads let me play the video for you So the audio is quite low in this one. Let me try to increase it. I think due to the video recording, it is unable to show you the, uh, the audio is not clear. But anyway, let me try it out with this video lingo to see how it works. And there you go. The video is uploaded. And then here you can select your source language or your, your target language. Target languages are like... Uh, Italian, German, French, also Chinese and I believe there is also Japanese and Russian too. So try it out. Let me go with maybe I'll just go with Chinese. And when you scroll down, you can see that you can just start the task and it also gives you just a hint of how much it is going to cost. But don't worry about it. It's all local. The only cost will be um, because uh, one thing is that I have also set my open AI's model in my uh, environment so it is using the open AI's model at the moment you can go with DeepSeek api or you could go with anthropic plot but of course you would need a paid api key from them and you would need to set them in your environment when you run the docker okay so let me start the task here and as soon as you start the task it is going through all of these steps it is going to take some time so let's wait for it and this is one another thing because you have no clue what is happening you just look at the screen and wait for it to finish i think they could really really improve the interface here anyway i will wait for it to finish and then we will see what is happening okay took a bit of a time but here is our video with the subtitles let me run it let me Hello guys, welcome to the channel. This is just a sample video for Deep Life Cam. I hope that you're enjoying the content on the channel and learning it. Uh, please also share whatever you learn because it is uh, a combined journey of learning. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much. Hello. So pretty good, I would say not bad at all. And I can't move this um, original one from the top of it but i think as i said they could do a lot in terms of improving uh, this interface so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching